let's jump into this because it's time. It's time. It's time, my lovely imps, for us to finally watch and react to this damn debate because I have a feeling this is going to be painful as hell and I'm ready for it. I'm fucking ready for it. I'm ready to see. Okay. And in fact, we're going to do one cool thing because, um, you know, I, I really want this. Here we go. There we go. Look at that. We're, we're, we're adding this to the fucking future forever. We're keeping this one on. Maybe we'll even keep the uh, skellies on. Here, where are they? I don't know where they are. There you go. No, no, no. Just this. Just this. I want people to know that it's me. Let's do this. Here was the first one to celebrate me being... Harlan. 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 Um, well, oh, already spicy. I celebrated that you were banned on Twitter because you repeatedly tweeted that my husband should be deported, Lauren. And He's now a legal I'm alien. I don't really know how much you know about me, but... I wow. Coming in hot Stop right off the bat. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. They say that Carolyn Borshenko is an illegal alien. Um, but they, no, sorry. They say that Carolyn Borshenko's husband is an illegal alien. The guy's literally a permanent, like he's a permanent resident. He's not an illegal immigrant. He's a legal immigrant. It, it, it's literally, if, if you ever want to know, if you ever want to reveal how racist Republicans are, Ask them how they know someone is an illegal immigrant. Because they can't. Did you know Lauren is banned on Twitter? No, but that's awesome. Yeah, it's they're Mexican. That's what it is. That's what it is. We'll talk about the... Listen, we're going to do analysis and, and commentary afterwards. But for now, we got to get into the debate. I'm probably the most vocal anti-children transitioning person on the internet. It's what I'm, right. almost, I, it's, well, I, I let, I let you speak. The best thing you can do for us is I, grow out your mustache and tell people not to live like you. What the fuck? Alrighty, everyone. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see. There's been a lot of arguments on Twitter recently where people cannot decide what it means to be right wing or what the future of the party is. And if you don't know why that's important, well, just look around you at the radical leftism, all the insanity in the culture and a president who borrowed an election and a country. What the fuck is this audio? Holy shit. What is it bleeding over? What the fuck? who wonders what is our future and who is Bashy going to audio. save us from this absolute madness. Well, a lot of people seem to disagree, which is why I brought a panel of guests on to talk about what the future of the right wing. By the way, this guy got fucking owned by Milo Yiannopoulos so hard, it was actually amazing. Oh yeah, and by the way, just as a little forewarning, this panel is inevitably going to be really, really horrible to Blair White. And I want you just to take a minute and remember, as bad as we can feel, for Blair White, in this debate, Blair White regularly uses hate terms against trans people that she doesn't like. Blair White literally uses slurs against other trans people she doesn't like. Blair White engages in blatant disinfo in order to generate hatred against trans people she doesn't like. No, we don't, Pen this is This is understood. We knew this was going to be the case. All right? So don't try not to feel too, too bad for Blair White. Though we are going to talk about the, um, we're going to talk about the irony, okay? C content warning Blair White. The fact that Blair White is on, this is all you need to know. Looks like, and how we win back our country. We can bring him on the screen. Uh, I went ahead and I invited on a myriad of people. I have uh, Carlin, Bor he's called Carlin Borisenko. Well done. Yeah, awesome. Commentator. We also have... Uh... Okay, so we have idiot, fascist, fascist, and idiot, fascist. So that's the line. Oh, and actual Nazi over here. Well, I guess this guy's a Nazi, not just a fascist. So we got uh, idiot, fascist, Nazi, fascist, idiot, and Nazi. There we go. Oh, Lauren's also a Nazi? I haven't seen her for sure. Well, I got, I'll take your word for it, I'm sure. Lauren Witzke, uh, she ran for uh, 
uh, Congress in Delaware. Oh, also and also notice, by the way, notice between these two, actually, wow, even Blair. But let's look at the difference between, look at the difference between, I know this is fucking phrenology, I don't give a shit right now, okay? Look, look at the, Carolyn Borshenko is a fucking dummy, but she has, she has a soul. You can see. You can see that fucking Carolyn Borshenko has a soul. I mean, it's Lauren? That the right hate us trans people. They're just saying it out oh, right yeah. Now. They've always been saying it out loud, and we're going to talk about that. Thank you very much for the uh, very generous donation. Thank you. And look, dead eyes? Living eyes. Lich? Not lich. Undead? Living. Blair White, YouTuber as well, and John Doyle, YouTuber, and they're all here to answer these this questions. This audio sucks! What the fuck? Oh my god, I hate this so goddamn much. How can their audio suck so goddamn much? Here. So let's uh, talk a little bit about this as we get into this. Starting with Lauren, um, how do you describe yourself politically? Mute your fucking mics, you idiot. Okay, so I am socially conservative. I'm advocately, I've always been economically populist. I advocately? Economic populism is the future of our party. However, preserving social conservatism within the Republican Party um, is a real passion of mine. I'm very pro-family. I'm very pro-life. Uh, my whole motto is I just like to win and save babies. So that's what I do. Hey, Vosh Raid. Hell yeah. Awesome. Uh, Blair, go ahead and tell us where you lean politically. Yeah, every political quiz I've ever taken matches center right, so that's me. Let me I know don't when the raid comes in, and I'll welcome everybody. Story everyone loves of like I'm a former liberal, I'm a lifelong welcome, Republican, welcome. always voted that way, and yeah, that's me. I'm definitely a little bit less socially conservative, and uh, that's where I live. John, go ahead. It's a pretty clear copy paste. Oh, thank uh, you so much, Vermin. Really like, appreciate that. Thank you. And, uh, socially conservative. Carlin, are you different than them? Yeah, I'm a little bit different in that, um, I, you know, some people say I'm a former liberal. I'm actually a current liberal. I have never stopped being a liberal, even though I did leave the Democratic uh -oh. Party. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Carlin Borshenko's getting cold feet. Um, I Politically, on my political compass test, I tend to be right in the center, and I frankly just want common sense people to come up with common sense solutions. Awesome. So as we get into this, I want to let you know something important. This is a, the first question we're going to jump into, which is, oh, of course you did. what is the future of the right wing, right? If we're going to win a war, if we're going to fight the left, we've got to figure out who's on our side. And there's a... <laughs> See this face? Uh-oh. What do you mean war? What do you mean war? I wanted to get into a, I wanted to, I wanted to get into a, a better knitting group, political knitting group. This is the look of, uh-oh, right here. Even Carolyn, even, even Car Carolyn Bar Borshenko is, uh, is, 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 is starting to realize that she's in trouble. Split of trying to figure out if the future of the right is a conservative, moral Christian party that is a strong nationalist background, or if it's this big, hmm, I wonder what those words mean. Listen, like, we're three minutes in, and this is all fash. A, con a conservative Christian nationalist par party with populist bases. I dare you type those words into Google and see which ideology comes out, okay? Tent party full of liberals, libertarians, disaffected left, etc. Before we jump into that, I want to give a huge shout out to hey, our sponsor Brian for Bottle, today, guys. To the world is getting crazy. And welcome I'm to the Voshites. If there are Voshites in here, welcome, welcome. Oh, there are a lot of Voshites in here. Awesome. Hold on. Let me welcome you all to the stream. Hello and welcome to the Vosh community who has yet, not yet watched my content. My name is Demon Mama. I am an OG Vosh chatter from way back when. But I started streaming. You will like my content. I can tell you, you're going to like it. I uh, do a lot of debate. I talk about trans issues all the time. Uh, I like to have a lot of fun. I do a very high energy, very creative and artistic stream with lots of fun stuff. You should sub. Uh, I've we're, I've done fucking content with Vosh before, in fact. And you might have even seen me on with Vosh before. And if you're here, please like the stream and consider subscribing. 
and joining our awesome Discord. Our Discord is super cool. We have a whole bunch of creative channels where if you have... Um, if you, uh, if you have a creative interest, you can learn from all the other creative awesome people in my community. Today, we're talking about Blair White, and I got a lot to say, okay? Also, you can watch on my website, which is built on the same framework as v.gg. So, welcome, and let's get right back into the content. Regrets? Regrets? No regrets. No regrets. Let's do this. I'm telling you, it is not getting easy out there. Not only do you need to have defensive equipment, you need to own guns, but you need to have some way to conceal your guns, to carry them around, which is why I want to tell you about Northwest Retention. Northwest Retention has a... <laughs> Listen, I will always, this is the reason, this is part of the reason, by the way, why my show will always be free, why I will always be viewer supported, because these shills are so embarrassing. It is so much better to just ask you all to give me a free like than to be like, you know, here I, hello, my name is Demon Mama. We talk about trans issues all the time, which is why I want to suggest to you getting 10% off your trans tucking harness, which you can get on on, on bigdickhiders.com using, uh, using the coupon code Big dick now for just ten dollars off. Few goals that are amazing. This is a company I love personally and own their products. Number one, they want to bring the greatest quality value and service to the marketplace. I'll take ten. Number two, they want to be innovative and well. Guess what? If you get ten, that's one hundred percent off. Drop the referral link. You're sold. Hell yeah. DemonMamaShills.com. <laughs> exactly. Use the term use the term 85 D2D Derek to get eight, to get five percent off on your on your debate with Demon Mama. Only one hundred and eighty five dollars today. Continue to build and provide the best quality lifestyle gear to the industry. And number three, and most importantly, is to show gratitude by helping their fellow men build relationships, train, and educate. But if you go out to their website, you can see all they have to offer, guys. These are the most premium quality and satisfaction guaranteed holsters and belts. That <laughs> okay, the, the fucking open mic in the background is just making all of this so good. That you can even find online with a lifetime warranty. They've got you covered. That's not a Wait a minute. Wait a minute. With holsters done right. I'm telling you, these are amazing. Sav has them. I have them. And guys, the owner of this company is amazing. Even my wife, we wear their clothing, which is pretty awesome. It's all really great. Check out what they have to offer. Okay, listen, not to not to be really, really petty. Not to be really petty, but this guy's, if this is their order of what? Order of what? Okay, order of blank is not a great thing to have on your screen. <laughs> order of N. What is this? Is this like an order of nine angles shit? By the way, if you don't know what the order of nine angles is, it's an extremist uh, Nazi sect. Order of something? I don't know. Order of man? That's a little weird. Um, but just so you know, this guy's if this is their if this is their fucking uh merch, this fucking sweater is pilly as fuck. You see those pills? That's that's a fucking low quality ass shirt. Bro, tell your wife to use some fucking fabric softener. What the fuck? For they even offer custom options as well. Go to nwretention.com. That's nwretention.com. Enter promo code offensive to get 10% off your entire order. That's nwretention.com, promo code offensive. Okay, guys, so let's jump right into this. So my question is this. As we look to take back the country oh, from the radical left- the and we audio is torture. Seek to make it a stronger place. How are we going to do that? Is it A, by building a stronger, conservative, Christian moral party? Or is it B, building a big tent party of libertarians, the disaffected left, conservatives, et cetera. Like with the questions, we'll try to go in the same order. We'll start with Lauren. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm really confused why this is a discussion about the future of the right when we have a liberal, actually this is a Democrat, with one good opinion. Uh, we also have a transgender on here. Uh, you know, I don't really think we should be giving a platform uh, to this kind of degeneracy, which is a uh, gateway drug to pedophilia. You know, I absolutely- wow! Wow! Right out the gate! Woo! Here we go! Let's let's get right into it! Woohoo! 
absolutely disagree. You know, we were- This is, no, 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 no. This isn't mask off, by the way. This is, doesn't know what a mask is. Literally. <laughs> Fucking John Doyle down here. This kid. He's like, thank God, I don't have to do this. I don't have to do the, the mask off. Oh, I'm sure she doesn't. This person, it, if you can't tell, this person is completely unhinged. Can you not tell just by looking at her? Look at that, though. Oof. Carolyn Borshenko is like, I got to get out of here. Listen, Carolyn, let's have a talk sometime. Let's have a talk, Carolyn, please. I think we can get you out of there, okay? I think we can get you out. Listen. I know you don't want to be in there. I know you you saw them. You, you got dollar signs in your eyes and you saw the Prager U money. I, we can help you out. Okay? Seriously. We were the party of traditional marriage. We were the party that opposed gay marriage. We've always been that party. We've always been the party of family. True. We won handedly yes. in 2016 without the LGBTQ vote. We started losing when we started compromising. So I'm really yeah. curious. True, true. You have always been the party of raw transphobia, raw homophobia, raw racism. That's true. Yes, why uh, people who are libertarians. I mean, you have a party of freaks who love the free market that you can join. But don't come into our party and try to influence it because that is how we are Mask. losing. And in case you Mask haven't noticed, destroyed. we are losing. Uh, you know, they are now advocating for chemical castrations for children. We're so <laughs> what? Spotlighting transgenderism. <laughs> this is going to be so wild. Oh, my God. We're six minutes in. Oh, I, I told you this Friday stream was going to be good. This is going to be wild. CPAC. Um, and I am a traditional Christian conservative. I believe in family. I believe that family is the foundation of everything that this country was founded on. And no, I do not believe- Spoiler, she doesn't have a family. Spoiler, she doesn't have a family. Uh-oh. ...that we should be compromising our values and spotlighting a lifestyle that is a gateway drug to pedophilia every single time. And you cannot deny it isn't because it's here. You Wait. cannot deny it isn't because it's here? Nice. Great argument. Sarah, would you respond? I think that there's a difference between you spoke sort of to gender ideology, which is definitely rampant on college campuses, definitely taking over culture. I think that's different than just people who, as individuals, may technically be gay, lesbian, bisexual, any of the above. Um, and I think that it's possible to fight against- She left out trans in her own response. <sighs> The cucking. You are witnessing live cucking. I think we might get taken down by YouTube for this, for, for showing this level of cuckening. And gender ideology with, while holding true that there are going to be people that are just different in life. I definitely am not here to speak to the future of social conservatism because that's just not my lane. But as far as the party, um, I think that a big tent is most likely the future. I think that speaking, knowing my generation and a lot of people my age, which is mid twenties and, and Gen Z a little younger, I think that they voted for Trump the first and second time or just the second time um, because Trump kind of ushered the party into an era of a little more secularism. I don't think. The guy who used tear gas so he could get a picture with a Bible, who who relentlessly, despite being bad at it, pandered to the religious right? Nah. He was overly nah. religious, I think, to an extent. He was a little performative with, with religion and with prayer and things like that. Um, and I think that attracted hoc, a lot yeah. of new voters. And um, I'm not sure that, you know, going full force religious social conservatism is really the future. John, can you respond? Yeah, I think that the concept of a big tent movement is basically this sort of intra-party democracy that prevents us ultimately from being effective at actually wielding power. And this could date back even to what's referred to as the Reagan coalition, where we tried to unite social conservatives. Is he, what, what the fuck is up with his room? Is this a, 
What is this? Is this a picture frame that goes to concrete? Is he being kept in a fucking cell? What? What is this scuffed background? Man, the conservatives really aren't doing well, are they? Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like a- it does! It does, Halidor! It does look like the bathroom of a subway! with libertarians, uh, with fiscal conservatives, and then we created something which ultimately didn't last in effect, where we're now on the back foot with things such as gender identity. And even now we're trying it, you know, with pandering to different minority groups, different interest groups, which will never give us more than 8% of the vote, for example. So I think that to actually try something different would be to legitimately establish a strong party with the values that were nominally in support of and actually wielding the power effectively when we we are given the chance instead of getting into power and then <laughs> doing current. nothing and trying to pander to these groups thinking that we're going to own the yeah this guy this guy looks like you took a teenager's head and stapled it onto an, a, a man's body like what 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 a what a shock between like his arms and his face Lives and take their voting base away. He look. He does look like an evil AVGN. It's true. From them. Yeah, Carlin. I'm interested to hear your perspective because obviously this would be a, a question that would pertain to you directly, since you admit that you're a liberal and you just registered as a Republican. I mean, give us your thoughts. Okay. I did. Well, the fact of the matter is that MAGA is not a religious movement. MAGA is a political movement, and in order to win elections, you have to win votes. The fact of the matter is. I'm sorry. You're delusional, Carlin. You're delusional. Is that Donald Trump has never cared about gay marriage. It was never something that he was against. Dude hung out at Studio 54. Why would he care? And so I'm on the side of winning too, Lauren. I'm on the side of winning elections. The fact of the matter is that Donald Trump created a Big Ten strategy that brought 10 million more people to him in 2020 than he did in 2016. And if we go back and look at the history of the Republican Party and when they lost the cult... Rivera life. That is ridiculous. That is... I, I'm sorry, but that claim that this reminds you of the same debate with leftists? Are you kidding me? What? Did you see how this opened? Did you see how this fucking opened? What? What? Repair life? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck. True word the first time? Ronald Reagan offered a big tent. He said, everyone is welcome in this. No, no, it, it is not Rivera life. No, I couldn't disagree with you more. Are you kidding me? Big tent. He won two terms. George H.W. Bush followed him. The Republicans were in control for 12 years until what happened? The moral majorities tried to swoop right in and started legislating Christianity. And that is when they lost the culture war. That is when they started losing voters, when they started trying to legislate their religion the first time around. The Man, Carolyn Borsenko has the Prager. Oh my God! Actually, it's not even Prager. You. The First Amendment says Congress shall make no law. So it's nothing alike. It's nothing really alike, Rivera. Respecting the an establishment of a religion it's or true, prohibit sugar glass. they're prohibiting. Yeah, as it turns out, being able to have sex how you want is a really great way to win the culture war. The free exercise of their of their thereof. So it protects your right to practice your religion as much as it protects my right to practice mine. This is not a question of religion. If you want to do whatever you want to do in church, that's fine. Go talk to your church elders. Go talk to your deacons. Exclude anyone you want from your church. But the fact of the matter is that I would really like if the Democrats didn't control everything. And in order for that to happen, we need to win. And that means building the broadest po po possible coalition of voters that we can. And that's what I think we should do. Lauren, that's pretty much opposite of what you brought up and what you were saying. Um, could you could you please respond to that? Yeah. So, you know, Donald Trump, he did do things that made the church have to make excuses for him. His Globo Homo initiative. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. I didn't think we were actually going to get the Globo Homo drop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. Globo homo is a uh is a term that refers to the Jewish conspiracy to use homosexuality to change the ideology of the world. That's what globo homo means.
Yeah, it's a conspiracy theory that Jewish people are trying to promote uh promote gayness all over the planet. Holy shit. Uh, ended up losing him a significant amount of the Christian vote. And we are the base of this party. We make up a huge portion of this party, a way bigger portion than the liberal libertarian sector of the, the party, no matter than the liberal or the libertarians. Weird, the guy who could or how much they want to tell you, um, you know, so him making those compromises is probably a big part of why we lost, you know, we lost the house in 2018, you know, in 2017, we had the house, the, uh, the executive really? branch and well, the Senate, I'll, I'll and we that. still fail uh, on conservative issues. They refused to stand up for life. You know, they still passed a budget that, um, actually made us force Christian taxpayers to fund Planned Parenthood. You know, so every vote lost on social conservative, uh, consult social conservatism is, you know, we are significantly more. We are the party that was established in traditional marriage. So I'm curious when the liberals and the transgenders decided that it was their duty to come and infiltrate our party to make it successful <laughs> because we were doing just... <laughs> Oh my God, she's so paranoid. She literally thinks that the transgenders have taken over the Republican Party. Bitch, we couldn't want to be further away. There's one. You have one. Maybe two. Just fine. Um, we started actually losing votes when we started pandering. Uh, we lost a significant. No, 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 pa pain, Sama. No way. This bitch is this bitch is one ba one bad night away from a fucking OD. I'm not kidding you. I would be listen. This is really this is really edgy for me to say, but one bad night and this bitch is gonna gonna die from fucking uh from fucking wine and, and Xanax. One hundred percent. You could tell. Listen, to she talks completely dead. She's just like oh my. Uh, The only reason the right accept black yep. and LGBT yep. is to gain power. Once you know this bitch. Control, this this bitch hasn't face. had a glass of That's wine without a fucking Xanax days. in ten years. Significant amount of our base uh, enough to make an effect. By the way, yes, like Aided Stardust says, if you don't want to die, don't mix booze and benzos, please, for the love of God, it is not good. Don't do it make a dent into uh, the electorate by compromising our values. The only way forward is to stay true to our values that we've always been and established Jade on. Monkey, Xanax is a benzo. And win with them, you know? It's the weakness. Holy People shit, value Rantana. strength over anything else. And when we started showing weakness and compromise, that's when we started losing. Um, and I don't think that is something that we should continue. I think that we should remain the party of Jesus Christ, the party of... What did I say, tastiest pizza? I fucking knew it. Life, the party that celebrates family and tr makes it as easy as possible for Americans to get married How can you and celebrate have children. Family if you don't Why would I one, celebrate bitch? a lifestyle Woo! that uh, people can't reproduce? You know, you can't reproduce. You just can't. Um, you know, so you can't re. Sometimes I wonder. If conservatives literally don't understand, get, like, how gay people, like, their bodies are or how trans people's bodies are, or if they just don't care at all, or if it's a mixture of both. Like, lots of gay people have kids. And also, we have a lot of children who need to be adopted. And those children suffer because you won't let gay parents adopt them. That's because Blair is trying not to just die right now. Blair is trying not to have her her heart give out on her. Every single bit of will in, Bear's, in Blair's body is desperately trying to keep her cells going because they want to exit her body and leave after that opener. So having Can you imagine? Listen, this is a level of humiliation that, that I cannot even imagine. And I've been through some fucking bad shit in my life. And I can never imagine that level of motherfucking humiliation. This is the type of humiliation that like not even a, the the hardest core humiliation fetishist in the world could get off to.
families. Uh, that is the future of the party. We started losing when we started compromising. Big Ten okay. is a lie. Um, Lauren, it let me is, jump in there real fast and give, give Blair a chance to respond to that. Sure. I think the concept of more people infiltrating a party isn't necessarily what has happened. I think that the modern left has shown its hand to such an extent that people are just being extremely turned off nothing, by it. Nothing, sure um, glass. I, again, being a lifelong Republican voter, I've never had a moment where I entered the party and then had plans to change it from within. I think that every American has a right to vote in any direction that they choose. Um, and I think especially over the next four years of the Biden presidency, there's probably going to be a lot more people who are uh, red-pilled, I guess, is going to be the term, um, and wanting to vote, you know, in the opposite direction of how things ended up in November. And I also would say, you know, Trump got the most votes of any sitting president in history. I think that's true. Right? That's right. And um, I think there's a reason for that. I think what I spoke to earlier. This is, that's how you know that she's off her game. This bitch threw her off her game. This is this is the thing. The fucking cutthroat, cold as fucking ice, knocked her off her game. I think that's right. There Oof. was the push towards more secularism. And I think that while social conservatives no, and religious didn't. conservatives still voted Trump because it was the right direction, like life, you said, no. they did make a lot of excuses and compromises on their beliefs. Um, I think Trump really, and Trumpism is the future of the party and the future of success. I'm also one of those people that, I don't know, this might have to be edited out for YouTube, but I'm not completely convinced that the election was won by Biden will. by completely- Wait, wait, sugar glass, uh, this won't get me TOS. This, this, this debate is up on YouTube. Legitimate means, oh, so- God. We can say it was um, borrowed. I think, what? We can say it was borrowed. You can't say oh, stolen, yeah. but you can okay. say the election was borrowed. <laughs> um. And so cringe, she couldn't even land his own jokes. Ooh. Even though, yeah, Biden won, I still think Trump is the future of, of the right in general. So, okay, John. One hey, one. Blair's right about that. As long as Trump is alive, Trump is the future of the party. And these motherfuckers better realize that. I mean, they do because Donald Trump will embrace fascism like that and already has. Donald Trump at CPAC was just screaming about America first. Jump in there. I think that's correct in that Trump is the future of the Republican Party. But what's interesting about that um, is that during his first campaign and even his second campaign, he really didn't touch on LGBT issues that much. I mean, you know, he, he held up the flag, I think, at a few events at the advice probably of people like Jared Kushner. But if you look at where his vote. Voters actually sit on the political spectrum. They're not the right wing libertarians I'll, that I'll talk about a lot of big donors would like the party to be. They're actually basically about, answer, authoritarian in the center. And so if you look at where they poll on issues such as like gay marriage versus traditional marriage or like transgender bathroom issues, like whatever, they're all like very, uh, I guess you'd say authoritative and, and conservative in that, and that they're wow. in support of traditional and socially conservative policies. And so that's where the momentum in the party is. And so if you're going to come over and vote for Republicans because you agree with their positions on foreign policy or fiscal policy or what have you, that's all in fine. But what we can't do is start to compromise and say that like, you can come over here and we're actually going to pander to you as yeah, well in trouble you positions in CPAC. And I think it's interesting because a lot of oh, people that are trying to join the, the Republican Party or the conservative movement and then bring to light more of these like LGBT issues are basically showing their hand in that they're not actually conservative. And I'm not speaking. Well, that's easy, Payne Sama, because he is about you guys specifically, just like the rhetoric that I do in online, because <clears throat> fundamentally the idea of like. LGBT issues is about the enshrinement of total equality, which is fundamentally not a conservative idea. Conservatives believe in hierarchy and natural law and, and the idea that we can have total equality across the board for You know why I appreciate this panel? You know why I appreciate this panel? Because it, it it's proof of exactly what the mother fucking shit that I've been saying for the last year is. Conservatives their ideology is about hierarchy. They don't believe in equality. It is not part of their ideology. They don't believe in compromise. They don't believe in peace. You have to recognize what their ideology is and how that guides their actions.
And I appreciate in this case that we are seeing the raw mask off right here because this allows people to see what the party actually believes. And yes, I do agree with you, MP Exilum. Every single conservative minority needs to watch this shit. Because the more conservative minorities realize this shit, that's the more who are going to get out before it goes too fucking bad and they end up getting purged. Because that's where we're going. Different types of relationships or different types of marriages, quote unquote, is just fundamentally not a conservative idea. And so if we want to have success in the future as a party, we have to Sorry, fundamentally I hear that not again. equality across the board. Believe Listen. in hierarchy and natural law and, and the idea that we can have total equality across the board for different types of relationships or different types of marriages, quote unquote, is just fundamentally not a conservative idea. And so if we want to have success in the future as a party, we have to actually like maintain a strong footing on what it actually means to be conservative, which we haven't done in the last 70 years, I'd say. <laughs> wow. So he's going straight on back the last 70 years. Damn, that takes us right about to. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of tweak this a little bit to you, Carlin, um, as, as that question that he said, right, is like, this is the question a lot of people ask on the traditional right, is that the right has been defined, uh, the right has been defined as being a conservative party, and that has been traditionally what it has been. Now, you say that you identify as a liberal, but you are a Republican. I would say that's more of a new development in the party. I'd say that it is, uh, you know, related to Trumpism, to MAGA, or as Lauren calls it, the Globo Homo movement, which I will spit out my coffee when she said that. I, I find all the cucked, cucked. They're getting cucked. This is a, the the most impartial mod you could ever imagine. This stuff quite hilarious sometimes. Uh, but with that being said, you know, if we're gonna take the big tent, pain. This is this is distilled pain. What you are witnessing is distilled pain soul soul leaving party uh, approach right and we're going to bring in all of these people yes. that are uh, of different uh viewpoints like yourself what what is this conservative party conserving and how is it any different than let's just say being a liberal party from 10 years ago well, right now, it's not conserving anything because they don't have any power because they lost elections. But I do want to uh, speak to John's what? point specifically and that he used the magic word, Damn. which is pandering. The left panders to the LGBT movement. Trump did advocate for LGBT policies. He did so by appointing the first openly gay member of the cabinet, which the left likes to forget about all the time. He did support this community. He just didn't do it in a way that was pandering. But again, like I, I'm a liberal because I believe in individual liberty, individual freedom. I'm very concerned with preserving specifically our First Amendment values and, and all the amendments specifically, but the First Amendment's really my jam, which again, does not allow for the state to legislate based on one religion specific okay, values. Listen, I think that Carolyn Borshenko is a very stupid individual. Like, I don't think that she will be a stupid individual forever. I think there's a chance that Carolyn like smartens up, but I think Carolyn is, what's the term? The term, uh, what's the term? Oh my God, I can't think of it. Um, with a credulous individual she's credulous she is like naive yeah no i don't think she's a grifter i i really don't i don't think she's really a grifter i think that like i think she was been, been tempted but you know but i will say she is catty as fuck and i really appreciate that because when carolyn gets catty and says things like well the republicans don't have any power because they lost a whole bunch of elections she's right and they all know it and she knows how to do that that's one thing i respect a lot about carolyn borshenko is she is catty as fuck and sh and they know it they know they can't really argue because all they'll say is borrowed election the borrowed election if we want to talk about religion, we can talk about uh, a verse from the Bible, which is 1 Timothy True. 2, verses oh 1 through God, 2. Which Wait, says, really? Wait, did she really do that? What a bitch! I urge then, first of all, the petitions, prayers, and sessions, and thanksgivings be made for we'll all talk people, about that after, for kings and for those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. And I bring that up because that is the only place in the New Testament that really touches on the relationship of Christians to government. And what does it say? It says they should pray for the, the people in leadership so that they may live peaceful and quiet lives in godliness and holiness. So what does that mean? It means wow. that we should be working on a 
electing a government that allows people to practice whatever religion they want and to live peaceful and quiet lives in godliness and holiness. And the only way that we can do that is by creating a broad coalition of voters who win elections. That's what we should be talking about, first and foremost, is how we win elections. Vermin um, derangement Before syndrome. we go, I'm going to go to John, because John was John was sort of laughing during that. And so why are you laughing? I was I was humored by uh, the biblical substantiation for having more gay people in government. I, I just thought that was kind of funny. But uh, no. The Bible would like to have a word with you, my dude. No, oh, I, I don't think that, like, even you push back on what no I had problem, said about stars, the, the pandering with, well, Trump appointed these people and he appointed these people. So he was actually, like, you know, serving the interests of the community. It's interesting because, as you noted, the left will still ignore that because they control the narratives and they control the media. And so really, no matter what Trump does to pander to that, however many percent of the, what is it, three percent of the voting demographic isn't actually going to serve interests. And I... I I just don't think that the reason Trump didn't win in 2020, assuming the election was totally... This is just raw cope. Just pure, pathetic, raw cope. Still, still coping. All they have, literally all they have left is just motherfucking JQ cope. Legitimate was because... Oh, oh, it was the Jews! Oh! He didn't uh, serve the interests of the LGBT community enough. I mean, Trump won in 2016 because of immigration, because of free trade, and because of foreign policy. It wasn't at all because of uh, social issues as it pertains to, like, you know, the interests of, of gays and transgenders or what have you. Um, and then as far as the, the biblical substantiation for it, I mean, it's outlined, obviously, in not only in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, like, very clearly that sexual immorality, which under the umbrella would be homosexuality. Under the umbrella. The the uh, cr the umbrella of of John Doyle Christianity, right? Is wrong. I would I would love to see John Doyle try to substantiate an argument against homosexuality from the Bible. Here's a secret: it's very very difficult to do so. It is very very difficult to do so. Oops! As it turns out, the Bible doesn't actually talk about being trans or about being gay. Speaking of religion and Trumpism, yes, Trumpism is a cult. Yes, literally, there's only one verse that could possibly be in interpreted that way. And if you actually look into it, the translation was under was literally they translated it for up to be in one version of the Bible about homosexuality, while in the original text it was about pedophilia. Um, but you seem so to John be alluding. Doesn't even know. Uh, Listen, this guy, this dude, fucking no religion. You know that. Fucking no fucking actual care about the religion. This dude doesn't give a shit about the faith. This guy just sees a fucking dollar sign and knows that he can push his Nazi views onto the world. I wonder, yeah, I really wonder. I wonder what the Bible has to say about hating Jewish people. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, fucking shit. To this idea of cursed are those who curse them uh-oh uh-oh god himself told you to fuck off like the the individual in, in their private home and things like that when you talk about you know people living in a free society to do what they want and not you know causing any problems but what's interesting about that is that was the argument that during the the movements in the 1960s and 70s the JQ Including the is a term rep that refers to the Jewish question. It's something that John Doyle and this Lauren person are referencing frequently. Um, yeah, that's what that means. The JQ is the Jewish question. Revolution that allowed a lot of the stuff to have a seat at the table, which ultimately would usurp power away from traditional Americans and traditional social conservatives. And I just think that that's basically a myth because there's really no such thing as a private individual in, in the privacy of their own home because you are one person. And so any actions that you take in your house are ultimately going to- Also, Jay Derv, you're 100% right on this one. People like this, they don't have any idea how unappealing they are. Like, but the thing is, they appeal to a specific type of person. And those people that they're trying to appeal to are the American fascists. Just so you know, yes, they will turn off everyone else, but they're hoping that they can use voter suppression and extremism to push through an American fascist movement. That's what it is. That's that's what it is. That's the tactic. 
reflect you and how you conduct yourself in the real world. And then it's also kind of misleading because people don't want to be confided in the privacy of their own home or what have you, because that almost presupposes that don't it's something know. to we be could, ashamed of. People don't like that. And so what happens is then they start taking to the streets and they start having. Yep. It literally doesn't revere a life. When the Bible talks about consent, it talks about the consent of the father of the woman raids and they start to infiltrate education they start to infiltrate institutions such as the american psychiatry Associ uh, psychiatry association and then what was it 2015 june of <laughs> ah yes um, the american christian right longtime fans of psychological health care 2015 the supreme court decided that five minutes ago uh marriage can be between two men and now we're here on the back foot with issues like hey maybe kids shouldn't be taking prenatal hormones or uh can, can we jump in at the I'll hey, wait, wait, prenatal hormones <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the the pregnant trans fetuses are going to be taking prenatal hormones? So, hold on, let me get this straight. The ch the trans kids are pregnant and they need prenatal hormones so that they can infiltrate Vosh sent me from the, the APA. This video to tell you the lady in the top right is an actual Nazi. Wow, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for the dono and for the the news. Oh, they're so stupid. They're so motherfucking stupid. He knew he knew he fucked up too, but he has to keep going. Yeah, Elijah, go I want to jump in there because Sorry. I want you like keep John just fundamentally misrepresented something I said because I specifically chose Timothy or one Timothy two verse one and two because it has nothing to do with homosexuality. That's why I specifically Oh Carolyn! Yes! Is it sad that I'm really rooting for Carlin here? Like I am. Team Carlin! I'm on Team Carlin here! Hey, 1852D Derek, thank you! Used to smug a low hey, congratulations, J Derv! Chose that passage. It has to do with the relationships Christians have with their government. Now, if we want to talk about how the Bible deals with homosexuality, what I would like to focus on in the fact is the fact that there are multiple different arguments for different interpretations of the Bible. True. I'm not a Christian, I'm not Carolyn. a Carolyn actually knows the Bible a little bit. Oh shit, she studied! Oh, oh, I'm rooting for Carolyn Borshenko? No, what? No, yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm putting my money on Carolyn here. Holy shit. A Bible scholar, but I do know that there are multiple different interpretations for that. And instead of getting into the nitty gritty know, about what it says in that area, I want to focus on the fact that, again, this is an argument for the First Amendment, for religion to not be the, the dictator of a political movement. If you want to talk about these issues in your church, you dude. The panel the Thank you, Amanda you Neal. Awesome. Thank you so Excited much. To see more. Congratulations on the milestone. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's glitching again. Wait a minute. That was the old one. Oh, no, it's glitching again. Your streaming resilience is inspiring. No, it's glitching again. Okay, there, I think I fixed it. Okay, done. It's re it's restored. It's restored. Talk about them in your church. If you want to exclude people from your church, fine. If you want to exclude gays from getting married in your church, that is a conversation between you and your church elders. No this is a conversation about a religion. political movement. I think that all the arguments against the acceptance of homosexuality within the right are completely secular. It may ha just so happen to- Wrong! Abject lie! Cope! More cope! appeal to the to the base of that movement as Further christians cope. but i think that lauren and i could uh recite several arguments that are maybe even more compelling from a completely secular do it do it john do it please please do it oh my god do it john i would love to hear it please perspective let me let me and i hope you'll do it in oh church. he knows he knows they don't have it and they'll look stupid look she's like fuck why would you why would you volunteer us to do that but the host is gonna save because the host is on their side let me jump in and there. uh you know yeah, I think listen he's trying to save it he knows they don't have it oh my god carlin got him pinned by carlin borshenko pinned it's really yeah. funny that she's quoting scripture as a liberal <laughs> Thinking that oh, all she has is an ad hom. All she has is a pay a pathetic ad hom. Cope, 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 cope. Hey, Nabucco, welcome to the chat. My name is Demon Mama, and I am a political commentator and edutainer on the internet. And we are enjoying this shit show of a debate. Come in and get comfy with the other imps. Many of many of the imps are also fans of Vosh, so I think you'll enjoy your time, Nabucco. Let's continue. 
she can use it against us as Christians. Um, you know, it's like, oh, it doesn't apply to me, but maybe it'll work on you. And guess what? It doesn't work. Playing on our Christian compassion and making us be tough. Because you don't have any. Because you aren't fucking Christians. You aren't fucking Christians. You never were and you never will be. You're Nazis first and you're Christians second. A, a, a Christian in name only. Tolerant and acceptive of all this diversity. You know what that's left us with? Pe transgender pedophiles on Twitter saying that your daughter... There isn't a single frame of this debate panel that isn't reactionary. True, Briar! True, though! Look at that! Thank you so much, Briar! Thank you! And you're right! Look! You're asked for it. Your little girl isn't actually a princess. She asked for it when I abuse her. That is where we're at. What? What? That one was like, she didn't even deliver the line right. So you're throwing scripture at me as a liberal is not going to work. You respond with re respond with scripture, bitch. Hey, you're Miss Christian? Respond with scripture. Oh, wait. Is it all just a part of you desperately trying to create a sham identity so you can maintain some level of political relevance? Mmm. Exodus 21 to 2021, anyone who beats their male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result, but they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or. Yeah, uh, see? You, now that's some Bible quoting right there. A cafeteria Christian. True! That is a good term. That is a good term. Not play the Christian compassion card on us anymore. We are standing. We are taking a stand. Look, so she knows. She knows she's right on this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Social conservatism, because it matters. Social issues matter. And using God's word and manipulating it to try to get Christians to agree with you is absolutely subversive. And that's what we're struggling with in our party is subverters. You know, how many kids saw Blair White, you know, giving one of her videos? You know, I know Trump is a cash cow. I know people love to talk about him to get their popularity, but how? After watching Rhett and Link's spiritual deconstruction journey, I'm super interested to hear you talk about Yo, thank you, Miles well. Lux. Thank you, Miles Lux. How many children saw her and looked at her and said, you know what, she looks really good. I could do that too and started transitioning. This is about the children. We, they are coming for our kids, and we are at a point now where we're going to have to take a stand. Will the party go the way of the LGBTQ? Will the party, you know, we already have a transgender man, woman, it, I don't know, in Whoa. California, running the Federation Whoa. for Republican Women. Yo! What? What the fuck? You couldn't even try. You don't even know what you're talking about. Just low-budget insults. Listen. I love, I love, I love the conservatives talk about us like we're elder beings. Man, woman, it, I don't even know. I can't comprehend it. When I look at it, my mind melts. This is the type of bitch who, if she was confronted, listen, Trans people, if they were met by a messenger of God, a flaming wheel of eyes, a trans woman would go, whoa, you're hot. You want to bang? And this bitch would be like, what, what, what is that? What, what is that? A biblically accurate angel would make this woman piss her pants. Trans women would be like, let's get in bed, baby. And the angel would be like, me? With you? But I am a wheel of eyes. And the trans would be like, that's hot as fuck. Let's do it. Blair looks just dead right now. True, El Lalia. Thank you for the $5 and true. You know, are we going to let this stand or are we going to choose to stay with the nuclear family and support the nuclear family? Because from what I've seen from these LGBTQ activists, such as Rick, Richard Grinnell, who's an absolute pervert, he refuses to Ooh. stand up for transgenders in the military. Ooh. Who? Against transgenders in the military. He refuses to stand and make a public statement that, hey, men shouldn't be in women's bathrooms. That's because they're both. <laughs>
Carolyn knows. Oh, Carolyn, come on. Hit us with another one. Please. Please, Carolyn, hit us with another one. Come on, get him. Sold and paid for by these LGBT donors who have seen an opportunity. Trump was a cash cow. He was. If you talk about him and if you are... Um, you know, had a different look or whatever. People Donald would throw Trump is a cow. at you because it's like, oh, look how this this entire debate is like such YouTube poop material. I feel like somebody could make a god tier YouTube poop out of this debate. <laughs> Donald Trump is an it. Donald Trump is a cow. Inclusive <laughs> we are, but we're sacrificing everything. And when it comes down to it, I choose. The life, preserving the life of little children who are 50. Donald Trump is a man, woman, cow, it, I don't know. 15% of them are growing up identifying as LGBTQ um, and transgender. Uh, and we should not be giving a spotlight to or a platform to people I don't think they would who fun. operate in a lifestyle See, where 40% of them end up attempting suicide. You know, it's Yo, there comes the 40%. Those stats are old, by the way. Also, guess what? That study, do you know what that study said? Do you know what the conclusion of that study was? It was because of social factors. The suicide rate is high because of social factors. They cite a study that literally disagrees with them. That's how motherfucking stupid they are. It's because of people like her. Yes, it does, Mayday. Eventually. Yeah, this little, like, look at him. He's just got, like, a little fucking... He knows he's, uh, he knows, he knows nothing that he can say is gonna outdo this fucking Marjorie Taylor Greene wannabe. Uh, you know, one in four children growing up struggling with LGBTQ gender dysphoria end up with depression, drug abuse. I think it's 80% yeah. of men. Yeah, true, Pain Sama. That's an interesting one too. What the maybe the reason, maybe the reason Lauren doesn't have a husband is because she's breaking the rules of the Bible. This whole debate is denial and Cope versus Tunas. That's true. Yes, flushed face. That's true. True. Thank you. Have a higher risk of HIV. You know, why would I support that lifestyle? Um, why would I even fast. make excuses for that I wanna, lifestyle I or Blair, try to use I want to give Blair a chance to respond to, respond to, to your statements real fast she because I know Blair has, has a hard out. Uh, we haven't heard from Blair. Just on the on the statement of Lauren said, Lauren is talking about, you know, the subversion in the party, the idea that you're that your choice well, you're transitioning. Well, before I, um, you know, I just want to specifically address um, what Lauren said about children maybe watching my YouTube videos and thinking that they can be like me or transition or whatever. I don't really know how much you know about me, but I'm probably the most vocal anti-children transitioning person. This on is sad. You're getting cucked. Call her a stupid bitch who doesn't have a husband. What are you doing, Blair? Remember me? Wait, remember mean girl Blair? D wait, hold on. I have an, wait, listen, we got to talk about this. Blair White is only a mean girl to people that she perceives as lower than her. So she will be the most bitchiest mean girl. But the moment a cis woman, trad wife, pulls rank on her, she just bends fucking over. She just goes, you're right. I am a pathetic, I am a pathetic man. I am. It's so fucking sad. This is the saddest shit in the world. No one should desire to be in this position ever. No human should ever try to be subject. This is so, it's so sad. Oh my God. It's, oh my God. It's Tiffany Tumbles. Unironically, it is Tiffany Tumbles. This is so sad. On the internet. It's what I'm, right. almost, I, it's, well, I, I, let, I let you speak. The best thing you can do for us is I, grow out your mustache and tell people not to live like you. That is. Carolyn, Carolyn knows what's up. Look at this. Look at Carolyn. Carolyn is like, holy shit, this bitch is insane. I bet she's going to make her look nuts. This is the best thing that you can do to help us. Because Christ you are not love, helping. Christ love, wafting off Lauren. Christ <laughs> Yes! Yes, Carolyn! Oh my god! Yes! Holy shit! 
I can't believe it. I never thought. I never thought. Christ, I could just smell Christ's love from over here. <laughs> Carlin, holy shit. Oh my God. Love. Go at it, guys. I think actually okay. to close on the biblical point, um, I, like, the first I thing I did want to say is the vindication of Lord's voice comes point. very clearly in the fact that we have a liberal on here who is personally a liberal and ideologically a liberal, though feels as though she can manifest that by voting for Republicans. And so I think that really speaks to how far our party has deviated in the last 50 years. So nice try, John Doyle. This, this is the problem. This is I bet John Doyle will never do a panel again because he's too boring. How can John Doyle compare with this crazy person and Carolyn Borshenko? John Doyle's just like, well, you know, it sounds like the Republican Party has come a long way from its nice Elvis-loving 1950s beaver cleaver roots. Where now there are people who are personally energy, liberal who feel John. as though their views can be Low reflected energy, by voting John. for Republicans. And to close on the biblical topic, there's this misconception that like Jesus just said that we should be like vaguely nice to each other. As far as judgment goes, we are called as Christians not to judge. No. Do you know what Jesus did say, though, you motherfucker? Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Jesus Christ said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar. Do not trouble yourself with earthly matters. Focus on building the kingdom of God. And you, you vapid fool, how dare you take the word of God and try to use it for yourself? You self-enriching worm. God will cast you into the pit of hell, spit you out of his mouth for the lukewarm person that you are. Do you not recall in Revelation when John the, Re the Revelator spoke about the lukewarm faith of people like John Doyle, that they would be spat out of God's mouth and into the lake of fire? John the Revelator. You are lukewarm spit. God would not swallow you. God would spit you. People individually, like we cannot look at you and make a moral declaration like you are good or you are bad. That's not our position. However, we are called quite explicitly to judge the actions of people so as to maintain a moral and civilized society. And so we need to keep that social pressure on people like you actually can't behave in this way or that way. And that's how we maintain a civilized and virtuous society. And we are called throughout the Bible to do that quite explicitly. Okay, Blair, can you please respond? All right, well, I never that? finished. Boring John over here, lukewarm John, headed on the railroad to hell. Thank you very much, by the way. Oh no, it's doing it again. Oh, it's glitching Since again. He was triggered by someone saying, "Hey, extreming you." Boop, boop. If I reset it, it stops glitching for a while, but then it comes back. It's crazy. Point, so I would just like to. He's say, trying to foil, but he's doing bad at it. As I said earlier whether anyone on this panel likes fun fact you say hell is too cool for john but did you know that according to the catholic well not really the cat not actual catholic scripture but according to uh myth largely influenced by dante the deepest pit of hell is actually cold it is so cold that the only thing that you can know that you can feel is the absence of god because that is true hell true hell is is the cold absence of God. Or wants to acknowledge it. There is a really huge chunk of LGBT Welcome people back. who are very much against ideas like children transitioning, like- She can't even get out of her talking points. She can't escape her talking points. Right here, she's been beaten. She's been defeated from the moment this started. Like, uh, trans women in biological women's sports by the way um and all of the ideas that also, are also just so you know this is her life from now on this is her life from now on this defeat is going to represent everything that's going to happen to her forever now she will be put into a position where she will be called a degenerate by a right winger and they will use her to show that this is what happens to you Th this is not the future she doesn't even realize it. She's too stupid to even realize what's happened. Her position has changed. After the election, her position has changed. You know, hot talking points, but they're very real at the same time. So um, I don't think many kids would look at my YouTube videos and want to do anything like me because I explicitly 
have been very known for saying that it's not a glamorous lifestyle, that it's difficult, and that children shouldn't be out alone. allowed to transition because it can often be a mistake that really damages their life. So I don't know. I just felt like that was a false premise. And again, I, I would what? like. Carolyn's like, I hate Blair White, but I feel bad. I agree with Carolyn. It, wasn't, it wasn't a false premise. Yeah, I agree, Ada Stardust. They do treat her like a zoo animal. They don't even treat her like a token. They don't even give her that. This is just open cucking. This is so bad. Like I said, if you, you want to help us, tell people not to live like you. I that people would watch my videos and come to that conclusion when I say not to, and I advocate against it. I think that there are a lot of trans people online that you could argue. Maybe someone looks at their videos, children, and, and wants to do a certain thing, but I'm very much against it. If anything, people who support children transitioning or kids who want to transition hate me. So Lauren wouldn't even march Blair to the camps. Lauren would flip the switch. Are you fucking kidding me? This Lauren bitch would gladly flip the switch. Um, I also would like to say- It's normal, I do agree that's with normal. That's not with with Carlin. Carlin. I do agree with Carlin in the sense um, that, you know, if you guys do want to wield power and enact the socially conservative changes that you want, you do have to win elections and telling people that they don't have a place to vote in your direction or that they don't have a place in your party isn't the way to win elections. So. I guess if the topic is the future of the right, I think oh. the future of the right is already settled. This is not Lauren Southern. This is Lauren w Wiki or something. Um, it's Trump, and that's not an ideology that tells people they're not allowed to come over. If anything, it's an ideology that welcomes people to come over. So okay, it's so kind of already jump, over, actually. But. Before we jump any further, I want to let you guys know something. It's very important. As you can see, a lot of people in this country disagree right now. We cannot seem to come to common ground on a lot of things, which is why people see the instability in the stock market. We had things like the power grid fail here in Texas, which is why I want to tell you about oh, oh my Patriot yes. Supply, which you can find at preparewithelijah.com. <laughs> the food buckets, the food buckets, the double is poop buckets. Oh my God. Have you, oh my God. What do you do with the doo-doo? You put it in the food, the food bucket after you're done eating it. Woo! You can survive even the coldest, yeah, the Jim Baker buckets. Yep. You know, right now, no matter what you think, bad things can happen. We lost power at my house. We, no, the grocery never stores got taken for all their me? food, which is why I really- Ready hour. Ready hour. I want my followers to know- Wait a minute. This image is stolen off the front of the Quaker Oats oatmeal. This isn't legal. They don't look like this. They don't look like this at all, by the way. Just so you know, none of the food actually looks like this. This is literally the exact picture off of the front of the Quaker Oats oatmeal. They stole it. That more than your politics. This is this is the demonstration of what you use the buckets for afterwards, right here. And yes, that's true. Buy buying pre-made kits like this. First of all, if you're gonna buy a pre-made kit, you go with Mountain House, not this other stupid rip-off bullshit. If you have to buy prepped prepared food and you're not going to make it yourself like you're not going to go pound your own fucking pimmican then you go with mountain house and if not mountain house then yeah you could do military rations that's a that's a, a, a standard go-to or you make pimmican yourself Ooh, i sh oh papa murphy's would be awesome but i'm having satan chicken tonight please take your safety in regard and please get a personal storage of food that lasts up to many many years yes i have 25 years you. absolutely Bug crazy if you're not well stocked with emergency what's pemmican pemmican here i'll show you what pemmican is here you all need to know what pemmican is this is pemmican this it's 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 this pemmican is like nutrient blocks basically you take you take nuts uh animal fat berries and a bunch of and some salt and you pound the shit out of it and then you dry it and then it'll last forever i don't know i've not i've not had listen i've never had to eat pemmican in my life okay i'm sure some pemmican tastes good yeah it's like it looks like hardtack yeah yeah It's basically unrottable. Yeah, it will last forever. 
Yeah. This is what you eat when you have nothing left. Yes, exactly. I don't know. I imagine it tastes vaguely like, like, I don't know, berries. Yeah, anyway. Let's continue. Food and clean That's what hardcore survivalists eat is pemmican. Water, you need to get started right away. And the company that I personally recommend is my Patriot Supply because their tack, four week supply hard tack is like is hard tack is like um is like bread though. Bread based. This is not bread based. Emergency food, yeah, it lasts twenty five years. It's crazy. And you can never have to worry again. So please act now and save seventy dollars off this life. I wonder how they test whether it lasts twenty five years or not. I wonder how they test whether it lasts 25 or maybe they just lie and they know that none of their customers will actually be alive when it spoils. Saving food, guys, this is really important. Why take the risk of going without food or standing in government food lines? We're talking about the future of the right. Right now, we're losing. We don't know what's going <laughs> to Government food lines. You mean the government food lines that had to be used under Trump because Trump mismanaged the pandemic so bad that everybody's fucking failing. Everybody's businesses are failing. Every state is fucking failing, buckling under the weight of a pandemic that your president denied. And yes, the right is losing and it will keep losing. It's going to happen in the future, but if you go to preparewithelijah.com today, you, you get your emergency grifter. food will be shipped quickly. How do you people, how does anybody buy this? How does anybody buy these people? How does anybody fool themselves into believing these fucking cucks? Discreetly to your door so people don't know that you're, I don't know, awesome prepper and you actually prepare for real world. An awesome prepper, yes. The two words that frequently are found together, awesome and preppers. E true, Grime Dango, true. We know exactly where it goes, yes. <laughs> true. Scenarios, don't pass up the $70 savings. Go to preparewithelijah.com that's prepare with Elijah. Oh, Doc. Grime Dango, I don't know how much of this you've seen, but it has been a hog wild ride so far. We've been rooting for Carolyn Bar Borshenko, who's actually been fucking decking left and right here. I'm actually impressed with her. I never thought that would happen. Tom, to get your savings and get your food today. Okay, so let's jump into this. You're saying it's the future is uh, this, this Trumpianism, and John wanted to respond to that. Yeah, I was just going to say that, as we talked about earlier with where the people who voted for Trump, that coalition, sit on the political spectrum, Trump may or may not have touched on this issue either to either side very much, but they still fundamentally sit at the center economically and authoritatively socially. And so if you look at where those people poll on issues pertaining to you know LGBT issues... Snore! Snore! Boring John over here. Sleepy John can't even get his energy up for this convo. Uh, they're all basically socially conservative and so maybe trump didn't come out and support those or, or be as against those as he should have been to really like wield those people in but basically it's ambivalent as far as that's concerned and so what we do know is that trump what taking time to address those issues thinking he's going to win those people over hasn't Drowsy actually worked Doyle, I mean, good one. support in 2016 or 2020 with lgbt people was not like statistically significant nor was there a statistic improvement or statistically significant improvement and so when any political operation is happening you know you have he's the angry nintendo nazi he's the angry video game nazi what a load of fucking bullshit a certain volume of discussion and resources that you can expend on different things and so if you're going to waste those resources John Doyle is gonna take oh these these Jewish people make me so mad I could take a diarrhea dump in your ear which it is a waste on people who aren't going to vote for you anyway because they've basically been brainwashed into hating you because we don't control the narratives and we don't control the institutions the the place that you want I'll to be pouring those later, resources Mortimer. into would be on the issues that you won the election based on in the first place which would be immigration which would be free trade and which would be foreign policy it has very little he'd to rather eat apocalypse pemmican instead of living his life like a normal human being He'll look down on trans people, despite the fact that his head looks like a baby stapled onto a man's body. He's the angry Nintendo Nazi. Do with appealing to different uh, interest groups and hoping that they come over, whether that's you know black people or gay people or transgender people. These are all things that Jared Kushner lobbied for because he thought that they would be effective. You already did that one already. You already did the Jared Kushner thing. Oh my God. You want me to do that one? All right. All right. Yeah, all right, Gina. I'll write that down. That was, uh, uh what? 2-19-48-49? 2-19-49? Here we go. 
1949 AVGN parody TikTok. We can make that into a fun TikTok. Let's do it. Let's continue. They've been creating this sort of big tent movement, which I, I mean, obviously didn't help him too, too much throughout the administration. But uh, that also wasn't why he was elected in the first place anyways. Because if you look, even demographically. That's people... literally the only reason he was elected. The only reason that Donald Trump didn't lose hardcore to Hillary and I mean the only reason is because there was a certain amount of plausible deniability of him being an outsider. That's it. That is the only reason. Do you really think that Hillary Clinton, who already won the popular vote, would have won, would have would not have won against Trump if Trump hadn't managed to convince a bunch of dumb shit centrists who hated Hillary Clinton? Nah, wouldn't have happened. No, wouldn't have happened, dude. You're delusional. This is cope who are most likely to vote for Trump are also most likely to be socially conservative. So it is very clear that if we want to keep Trumpism going, if we want to keep the Trump train going, then the way to do that isn't by appealing to these issues. If you want to keep the Trump train going, you have to keep appealing to these issues. I Notice that he hasn't actually stated what issues he's talking about. This dude is totally checked out. Dude is checked out right now. By appealing to the issues that got him into power in the first place. And then when we take the country back, then, you know, we can have these then, other debates we'll, where we actually then, wield power. And then we'll take the country back and the Trump train will keep going. But right now we're just getting totally crushed. So we don't have time to waste resources on anything that hasn't been proven to be effective. Carlin? Can I talk? Oh, Blair, Blair has her hand up. Blair has talked less. Yo! Carlin! Yes! Carlin! Look at that! Oh, I got it for you, um, Alora. It was here, uh, Alora. It was o two nineteen forty nine, approximately somewhere around there. I was just gonna say I actually completely agree with uh, John that pandering to minority groups definitely didn't do Trump any favors. I think that the media completely controls the narrative. It doesn't matter. He could save, like. I don't know. You mean Fox News, which is the most watched fucking channel in America? They control the narrative? The narrative that was pro-Trump? What? A little person These people have of no color idea. who's they, also- There's just not, there's not a drop of reality or truth in this entire conversation. They're all just lying in different directions. Fans out of a burning building and the media would not care. Um, but that's all the more reason to- I don't think you have to pander. True, I think you just don't have yeah, to try to about exclude that. people. I think that that just loses votes. Um, and so, again, it just goes back to you. You guys can't wield don't any worry. of this power you say you want to wield if you're not going to win elections. You're just not. And um, I don't know. I just Actually, think I can tell you, Wika Waka. I can tell you who this appeals to. First of all, it's this was on the blaze, first of all. But this... This appeals to people who really just want to see Blair White called slurs. That's who watches this. That is the people who watch this. Somebody who want to see Blair White get called slurs by the by the based uh, by the based Lauren Nazi whatever Witwicky whatever her, na her name is. It's just kind of silly to go on about Lauren this argument Witwicky. that certain people need to be excluded because all it's doing is telling people not to vote for you. I and actually agree with that. If, if it keeps going uh -oh. back. So like we need to win we need to win saying you can't vote for us or you don't have a place in the party isn't i don't see the winning tactic of that i mean i don't think that the social conservative movement is going to necessarily grow stronger to the point where you wouldn't need and also what you said about um lgbt votes not having a statistical raise i believe look lauren looks like she might be getting a little faint here she needs to get her blood pressure up a little bit i believe they did double obviously it's still a small community but they did it did double fucking quaaludes are kicking in quick go on it go g fucking quote mine comp so you wake up quick from 2016 so clearly there is a shift happening I get that heart rate up before it stops in 2016 and probably like one percent every other election before that and it was like 28 percent in 2020 so yeah you know minority groups don't necessarily win elections now over time they very well could can i just uh, let, me, let me move to lauren Nine hundred thousand votes yeah. Nine hundred thousand mm -hmm. people nationally came out uh, from the LGBTQ community and voted for President Trump. We've done the math. Um, it was absolutely not beneficial for all the money we spent when we could have been going after the working class, the white working class, the crazy. Wow, just straight up right there. Woo, we could be going after the white working class. Dude, this is the Nas bullshit. Nice, nice.
Look at this. Look at Carlin knows. Carlin knows. Watch. I want to see what Carlin has to say. Christian working class. Look at this. She totally knows. Uh, the. I do agree. The with that. Can, uh, yeah, we spent way too many resources. I do agree. Oh, Blair, you cuck. You spineless cuck. Oh, this is the most pathetic. Oh, was so weak. Um, so the lie that we have to be a big tent in order to win and we have to be uh, inclusive. You know, like I said, there is a party for free market capitalism and transgenderism and liberalism. That's called the Libertarian Party. Why don't. What? Huh? Do I... What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why don't you join them? We do not need you. You are doing nothing but hurting us. You are hurting the Christian vote by creating a platform for yourself saying, this is Trump's, Trumpism. This is Trumpism. You know, we should have never. Oh, my God. She's literally. This bitch is. Oh, my fucking God. Glorified this in the first place while we are losing everything the, on social the issues. The mask has been trebucheted into the orbit of the sun. There is not even, this woman has never even heard of a mask. Just an inch away from quoting fucking Hitler right now. We lose every single time. You know, we are influencing, you know, public opinion matters and we are influencing our own Quick election. question. Okay, so here's the funny part. She's actually so dead wrong about all of this. She's so dead wrong about everything. She doesn't realize how dead wrong she is because she's clearly deluded. This person is somebody who clearly buys into like the Nazi ideology full full fucking hog. But just realize that if if what happened was true, Donald Trump would have lost by even more. There are no Christians who are voting Demo there are no sorry, I should say this. There are many Christians who vote Democrat. There are no Christian fundamentalists who are not voting for the Republican Party. There are none. They will never vote for anyone else. And by telling other people to go leave the Republican Party and go join the Libertarian Party, she's not going to open the door for any more Christians. There's no more Christians that can fill the party. They're all already in it. There's just not that many of them anymore. Elected officials to not take a stand on issues such as transgenderism, uh, LGBTQ education, drag queen story hour. They are saying nothing. We have created. Wah, wah. We got the drag queen story hour drop. Blah, blah. Did a cowardly uh, elected class within our party, you know, so it is not helping us. There is absolutely no electoral benefit. There's no social benefit, um, you know, and if, you, like I said, if you are gunslinging, freedom love in person absolutely we'd love to have you come vote for us but should you be having a say in influencing the party should you have um an opinion support us and we will not give you an opinion she's literally just saying you you should vote for us and we will ignore you wow uh that you know, like Jared Kushner was the one who did push the LGBTQ agenda. Wow, Jared Kushner again. Weird how they're, there's, they got a weird fixation on Jared Kushner pushing the LGBTQ agenda. They've used Globo Homo. They've brought up Jared Kushner as bringing in the LGBT agenda. Do you know what this is? For those of you who don't know, this is straight up anti-Semitic Nazi dog whistling. Like, literal, raw Nazi shit. Yeah, this is just JQ. Mass migration. Um, and those were the things that, you know, mass migration was something that Trump addressed in 2016. That's what got the white working class out to vote. N Nabucco, these people don't believe in democracy. These people don't believe in democracy. If they had the choice to Thanos snap democracy out of existence, they would. They don't care. These are fascists. They don't care about hypocrisy. They want a Fuhrer. They don't want democracy. They want a Fuhrer. For him. You know, so there are plenty of votes out there for us to get, but it doesn't come with compromising. We don't get those 15 million unregistered Christian voters to get, read, get them registered to vote and out to vote for us by glorifying the LGBT community. Yes, Kushner is Jewish. 
Congress shall make where... no law respecting an establishment of religion. I don't know why Lauren's so against the First Amendment. I think the First Amendment's pretty great. I also think the Second Amendment's pretty great, too, because it protects the first. <laughs> and these are the things that we should actually be conserving, and we can't do that if we can't win elections. The fact of the matter is, Lauren, that every single problem you have with the LGBT movement right now, from, from giving hormones to kids, medical transition, whatever, this was all caused by the right losing the culture war 30 years ago. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Fucking, literally, look at this! She's, do you see that? You can see the, her clenching her teeth. Real, real fucking vein popping moment over here. She's like, how dare you? Seething because it's true. Because it's true. You can wit. You can feel the heat of the seething from out of the fucking screen. When but hey, she got her blood pressure high enough not to die. Try to legislate their religion. That is why we're currently experiencing this today. The only way to come back and conserve whatever it is you want to conserve is by winning elections. And the fact of the matter is, it's not just people like Blair who vote based on LGBT issues. I am straight as an arrow. I'm married to a dude. Between the two of us, I'm the one that's actually married with the family. And so I'm... <gasps> Boom! There was it! That... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God! I'm the one who's married with a family. Whoo! That is, that, that is the cattiness I was hoping to see in here. Oh, my God. Look at that. You could see the crack. Say that I absolutely will not vote for a party. That she had to look away from the camera for a second because she's so fucking mad. You can see the literally the red in her cheeks. <laughs> it treats LGBT people like they are subhuman. I won't do it. Part of the reason that Trump won my vote is because he does not care. He promotes people. He doesn't promote sexualities. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Yeah, she has a pettiness. There's 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 something listen. Carolyn Bor Borshenko has a lot of problems, but Carolyn Borshenko has some redeeming qualities. Let's just put it that way. Carlin Borshenko is a person. This is this is a this is a a hollowed out shell who's been filled up with Mein Kampf. This, I bet that she I bet if she was to have her blood drawn at the doctor, it would just be pulped pulped up copies of Mein Kampf. Uh-huh. Uh okay, so uh -huh. So first of all, you're using issues again on me that you don't apply for yourself. So, uh, Dr. She got her. She fucking got her. Oh my God. She fucking got her. Carl here was the first one to celebrate me being. Carlin. I'd think Lauren traveling so much for her old work, she would have met a man demon mama. Nah, pain sama, no way. This bitch, there's no way. Every every dude, every single dude this bitch talks to, she's probably like, so tonight we're going to be going back to my home where we will be having a, a marriage ordained by a priest who lives in my closet. And afterwards you will impregnate me so that we can empower the white race. That's what happens every single time. And the guy goes, I'm out. I'm out. Woo! I'm out of here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! And goes zoom. And they just yeet themselves right out the window. That's what happens every, you know it. You remember the date? You remember the footage of the date that Lauren Southern went on with the Nazi guy who was like, I believe in making a family for the purpose of, of winning the nation. And then Lauren Southern was like, well, don't you think there's like love or like, you know, togetherness involved in it? And then the guy was like, no, I don't really believe in love. Nine, I don't really believe in love. And then Lauren Southern was like, okay. That's her, this is her. She's that version. Thank you, Lolliet. watching you and Miss Peep. I don't know who Miss Peep is, but hello to Miss Peep if you decide to watch them. I don't know. I can't do a German accent. What the fuck do you want? When I was banned from Twitter, um, she was so excited to see that my voice had been. <laughs> She's owning it. She's like, mm -hmm, I'm very happy. <laughs> oh my God.
silenced. So freedom of speech for thee, but not for me. Um, absolutely. So, you know, disregard that opinion. Um, well, I celebrated um, that you were banned on Twitter I, I because say, you repeatedly I, tweeted that my husband should be deported, Lauren. He's an illegal I'm, alien. Carlin's got the receipts, baby! Thrilled. No, he's your not. Husband, he has a permanent husband, green card. I am now thrilled that I don't have to hear you call for my husband to be deported on Twitter, yes. who has had a permanent green card for the last six years. He came into our country illegally. He broke our laws. He did and not then do married it an American. How lucky oh, is he? Go back. Oh, he yes! He owns it! Wow! The only person with a fucking spine in this conversation. Holy shit, Carolyn. What the fuck? Has to go back. I'm sorry, no, he Dr. doesn't, Carl. honey. That's not how laws work. It's not how laws work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have a husband and you don't, Lauren. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, even John Doyle. Look at John Doyle. John Doyle is having is taking pity. Even John knows that she's been owned. He's like, oh, I love you, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Really, anyone want to respond? You guys can keep going. I'm this keep... guy this guy is fake laughing so hard he looks like he's gonna never mind. Going. <laughs> Blair's like I'm Are you want me to keep going? Oh well you know, I'm I'm in early recovery. So you know I've only been clean three years. Uh, you know, myself getting in toxic relations. Yeah, yeah. She used to be a cartel drug runner. Yeah, so she was the fucking, oh my God. Holy shit. Shifts is what kept, you know, me relapsing. So, you know, I'm just doing it with wisdom this time. I'm dating. I'm, but my intention is to get married and have children. Carolyn knows. Carolyn knows that this was this pushed her one one moment closer. One moment closer. Um, maybe Gina. Burns is now 1984. Oh no, they're coming again. Oh god damn it. The the glitched ones are coming again. I have to re restart it. There we go. And eventually, but I certainly will not be marrying an illegal alien uh, to give him his green card. So you know, uh. I hopefully will so find an American man. I will. I, I, I will that. find. Oh, a lot, a lot. Of the fucking cartel drug runner t c accusing someone else of a crime. Wah, wah. American man. You'll be pleased to know we had several interviews with ICE, and they 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 blessed our marriage. Really, even though he was an illegal and didn't yeah. come the right way. Oh, fail, fail, Lauren. You're not sounding so strong right now. You thought you were doing great when you were clowning on spineless Blair, but fucking Carolyn Borshenko just put the fucking steel chair to your spine. Oh my God. And now all you got is your husband's illegal. Your husband's illegal. Your Jared Kushner made your illegal husband here. Oh, I love it. We're gonna have to reinvestigate. Let's go, let's go to Blair. But you know what? Here's the here's the thing though. Like we can keep talking about my husband, all she wants to talk about him. But the fact of the matter is, my husband ain't gonna win us an election. Votes are going to win us elections. I don't know why we're so focused on these issues that are driving people away from voting for things like conserving the First Amendment, conserving the Second Amendment. That's really what I would like to have the conversation. You don't even like the First Amendment. You don't even like it. So why are you? You don't why even. Are you, uh... She's failing. She's failing he oh my god she got her she's totally got her blair wanted to chime in let's, let's cut I'm, like guys, I'm gonna cut you guys off i'm cutting you off blair i i, I want to blair let me hear you, what you're gonna say oh i was just gonna say um i think that there's a little bit of a tit for tat here but i will say lauren um you said that carlin was celebrating you being deplatformed i did see that and i personally disagree with carlin for doing that i didn't i don't like people being banned Pathetic, Blair. Pathetic, Blair. Oh, your you your only ally in this conversation is Carolyn, and you're getting you're fucking literally, literally throwing it away. So pathetic. 
Twitter to you platforms. Um, but I will say you opened this up with saying that I shouldn't be given a platform and that I shouldn't have a say Ooh. in the party Ooh. or, and you know, so I think there's a little bit of it to go around. I think everyone should probably just respect each other a little bit more. No, I didn't. Oh, it didn't land. It didn't land. I thought, I thought maybe she was going to recover it. Didn't land. It's all right. Say we know Carlin's going to come back. We know Carlin's going to come back in. I was saying that you should not have a platform within a party who stands for traditional marriage because that is just opposing itself. You know, it makes no sense. Also, when you cannot deny that your people are the ones that are reading dressed in drag to kids. They literally don't even know. They don't know anything about the shit they talk about. It's all the same to them. It's just anybody who doesn't, who, anybody who doesn't live in a, like a, a hollowed out life of raw bigotry and hatred. <sighs> Oof. At my, our taxpayers' expense, and I'm just curious to what extent am I forced? Wait a minute. My Wait a minute. Since when? Since when was Drag Queen Story Hour? at the taxpayer's expense. Wasn't Drag Queen Story Hour in Canada and not in America? Wasn't that a Canadian thing? I'm going to be forced to participate in your fetish or delusion while our children are being targeted for pedophilia openly, you know, so. It just isn't landing anymore. Carolyn, look, Carolyn's got the smug look. She fucked her, she fucked herself here. She totally fucked herself. Oh, you know, no, I don't want to give a platform to that lifestyle. Here's and those are your people. Here's the thing. There platformer. is. <laughs> what did she say? Oh my God, what? Platform to that lifestyle. Here's and those thing. are your people. Here's the thing. There is. <laughs> she, she's calling her a deep platformer. She's like, deep platformer, deep platformer. Oh my motherfucking God. Oh. Go ahead, Blair. Sorry. Okay, there is, and I think this maybe is something that you might not be aware of or people who are not, you know, closer to the LGBT community and knowing the inner workings, that there's actually a huge divide from people who- It doesn't matter. It's a package people. deal. It all comes together. Th that is how they view it. See, there she goes. She's just saying it. Mm, I disagree. I think that uh, there's a huge divide within the community as from people who do support- Blair, you fucking coward. You fucking coward. You sad and pathetic piece of shit. Pick me ass shit. Things like Drag Queen Story Hour, one of the things I've been very vocal against, um, against children transitioning. So I don't think it's a monolith. I don't think any group is a monolith. The same way that people, the, the right wing is not a monolith of just people who believe, you know, in a biblical, you know, definition of conservatism and people who don't. Um, and I think that there's a really big missed opportunity for the right in the sense that I think LGBT people are actually the best warriors against gender ideology and, mm -hmm. you know, and seeing, and seeing children being read to by half naked drag Queens and, and children. Blair, Blair, this is so sad. Oh, this is so sad and going under hormone I mean, therapy you're not as wrong, well. Gina. I think that people that are from that community coming and speaking out against it do a lot more, a, a lot better of a job at trying to stop it. Yes, K-Prime, the belt is physically given to whoever the champion is. Then people who are on the outside, because at the end of the day, um, Lauren, you could make it part of your platform to be against those things. And even Carlin, you guys could talk about it, but it's never, it's simply the way it works. It's never going to be heard as loud as someone like myself or a gay person coming out of the community. And so I think that when you have, yes, the new belt is made each time. The majority of LGBT people who disagree with those things, when they feel like they can't speak out against it, because what happens is that's because right Blair doesn't say, believe okay, in it, boy, it many. She doesn't believe in it. Blair knows her time is running out. This is the person who knows that the time that, that this is somebody who is starting to recognize that her time is out, but she hasn't quite put it all together yet. This is a person like this is like a like a I don't know, like a Jewish member of the Nazi party going. It, are we the baddies? Am I fucked? And she hasn't quite confirmed that yet.
against it, but you still get no voice in the party. You're still disgusting. You're still a freak. They don't want to. Then they end up staying on the left, and it makes it appear as though we'll talk about her after with those things. But in reality, oftentimes we feel politically homeless, like we don't have a voice over here, and we have to pretend to be left. Yeah, guess what? And your your trans sisters and trans brothers and trans NB siblings are actually homeless because of the people you support, Blair. And Blair, you're going to be with us soon. This this party will not protect you. This party will not protect you. There's or pretends to be along with these things because we don't have. They are a, using a you, and they will so discard again, you. I think, well, so I just want to one second, just one last yeah. thing. So again, I think just in general, the overall point of what I think is that you don't benefit from turning people off from voting for you. You just don't. Okay. Well. Listen, here's the deal. Your whole lifestyle really opens the door to everything that you claim to stand against. Now, I'm not really sure if you really... Should we accept her? Well, we can talk about that afterwards. There isn't a map. That isn't even a question. That's sort of a nonsensical question, but I, we can do some theoretical. Let's do some theoretics after this. Stand against the transitioning of children or tra drag queen story hour, or if it's just I public opinion. Or if, public, or if public opinion is against you because public opinion matters. You know, I don't really know what's really in your heart. But when you walk out a lifestyle that introduces that to children, I mean, it's there. It is your people. I think, it is part I think of, there's a chance you know, that's of that, That's part Saul. of the package deal. It is spearheaded by the LGBTQ movement. Just because you take a normal stance on something, everybody should be opposed to grown men going into the young girls' locker rooms. Yes, I am. Or Sons, bathrooms. John. You know, yeah. every, it's, that doesn't make you special. It makes you normal, you know, and just because you dress up as a woman does not mean that you have a special opinion on something that everybody should oppose. Okay, so I, I'm so, not claiming to be special. I'm just a person that shares my opinions online. And what I'm just trying to tell you is that it's a lot more people than you think within the community, the LGBT community, that agree with me and think the exact same way, you, not the exact same way, but... On the more radical ideas like children, everything to do with children. Um, it's all the same. There, I mean, you can sit here and you can insist that it's a monolith and insist that we all think that way and that it is a package deal, but it's really not, especially considering gender ideology and, and how it has manifested now and taken over culture and been popularized. It started a lot long, it started well after the existence and acknowledgement of gay people or transgender people. Transgenderism used to be a purely medical issue that was treated. on a purely medical basis gender and you would have failed that blair white in the days when it was treated as a purely medical issue you would not have been respected you would not have been allowed ideology that we see on college campuses and that oftentimes it's communists spreading it that came much much later so if i th i don't i think that they are two separate things i actually don't know about the 70s Okay, so let me, let me, let me, uh, I have to move the conversation on because I know that Blair, again, has a hard out. And so I kind of want to give Carlin and, and John a chance to respond to this. So as we're wrapping this up with the big tent, with the idea of the place with gays, I, I don't want to get your opinion wrong, Lauren. So I'm just, if you can give me a brief response to this, do you, do you believe that we should exclude the LGBT influence from the right wing and reestablish sort of like a Christian party? Can you give me your... See how he's padding this? You can tell this guy is trying to help Lauren. This guy loves Lauren's inf Lauren's uh, talking points here. He's totally laying the groundwork for this. So that, yeah, he's being super careful. Yeah. Summary in under a minute. Yeah, so uh, certainly. In conclusion, uh, the LGBTQ community has no platform should have no influence on the party that was based on traditional marriage opposing gay marriage still is our platform that hasn't changed that's true you're telling the truth the republicans still oppose gay marriage to this day from the official platform trump but did we are going to have to vote on it or not. again soon you know are we going to be the party moving forward are we going to be the party that compromises on our values uh, that got us this far or are we going to stand firm on issues like family restoring the nuclear family getting dads back into the home uh really clean your own room lauren clean your own fucking room 
legalizing Get yourself a therapy, husband. Which... Once you stop scaring them off with the threats of ritualistic Christian Christian rape, Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll, maybe you'll get a boy. They have stripped parental rights where children now can't even go to get therapy if they choose to change their mind while struggling with gender what? dysphoria. You know? What? What? What does that, what does that even mean? Nazis. Literal brain soup. Them would legalize slavery again if given the chance. Is she talking about conversion therapy? Oh, is that what she's referencing? Let me listen to that again. Thank you, by the way, for the dono. Really appreciate that, Pain Sama. Let's hear. Uh, Re-legalizing conversion therapy, which they have stripped parental rights where children- Oh, what? How did I miss that? Holy shit. Confirm on issues like family, restoring the nuclear family, getting dads back into the home, uh, re-legalizing conversion therapy, which they have stripped parental rights where children now- Carolyn's like, um... Can't even go to get therapy if they choose to change their mind while struggling with gender dysphoria. You know, the only path forward with this, with this LGBTQ agenda, is stripping parents of their rights. Parents are being villainized for not wanting to transition their children. They're getting their... Ha they're having their... These people... Like, I, I don't know how to sh how to demonstrate more clearly that these people literally don't live in reality. They do not live in the same world as you. They live in a fantasy world where trans people t carrying bats that say HRT girl dick on them walk into houses and beat parents with a bat for l if they don't literally forcibly transition their child it's l it is so such a fantasy land it is unbelievable and in and in turn what they advocate for is a world of just raw barbarism a disgusting world in which you can torture children because you feel that they are they're attracted to the wrong person conversion therapy is is torture did you know that do you know let me just tell you real quick some of the things that have been included in uh conversion therapy in the fast in the past electroshock therapy uh experimental experimental electroshock therapy that involved Im administering electrical shocks if you were if you were determined to be aroused at the wrong time there was uh re what was it called um um I can't remember what the name of the term is. They would put a uh, a thing on your dick, and it and they would show gay porn. And you, if the if you got hard, it would detect that, and then it would beep, and they would yell at you until you didn't. Literally clockwork orange shit. These were real things. I'm not kidding you. They put devices on children's fucking dicks to try to turn them not gay. Gay conversion and trans conversion therapy is, it is literal torture. It is literal torture. Thank you, Ryoma. I appreciate that. Children taken away from them, you know, so it is not a lifestyle that should be included um, in the Republican Party. And it's not something we need either. Electorally, it hurts us. You need everything you can get, you stupid bitch, because you're going down. Okay. Lauren, and then uh, Carlin, oh, let me give you, so if, in under a minute, can you wrap up your conclusion on this as well? Yeah, this is about attracting as many people to the movement as we possibly can. I would like everyone who believes in freedom of speech, who believes in protecting the Second Amendment, who believes in protecting all our individual liberties to come to the movement. And I think it's rather ironic that people like Lauren talk about treasuring the traditional family when she was campaigning on Twitter to have my husband of almost 10 years supported. So protecting yeah. traditional family, but break up mine. I would like to welcome everyone into this movement, including my husband, who will be starting the process of becoming a U.S. citizen a little oh, later on this year. And when he does, when he does, he will be voting in the MAGA movement just like me. She's so fucking, uh, so fucking cringy. This bitch doesn't even have a, she has nothing. She can't even get a single insult in. I think that Lauren summarizes it pretty well. We're not saying that we're going to turn these people away. We're just saying that their issues can't be represented in our party platform. We're not saying we're going to turn them away. We're going to tell them to shut up and help us kill them.
because their issues fundamentally represent something that is deviant from the traditional American society. And these allusions to the Constitution as though it's an argument about, about religion, I think, is kind of disingenuous because, like I said earlier, Laura and I, I think, even, I mean, speaking for myself, I was against these sort of issues before I really came into the faith. But I didn't either. I think Bangle, it's important Bangle. to put that into context. I didn't either. Uh, that, like, when the Constitution was written, you know, you mentioned the First Amendment and the Second Amendment. Even the founding fathers, like Thomas Jefferson, who would now be considered to be, like, the most radically pro-freedom of the founding fathers, when he was governor of Virginia, he wanted the punishment for sodomy to be the equivalent to the punishment for uh, punishment for rape because these were... These people are such bores that they believe that you should be literally killed, that you should be literally executed for putting a dick in a butt consensually. We're always considered to be deviant acts that were against and went against the social fabric of the nation and the moral fabric. How does that go against the social or moral fabric of the nation? What the fuck are you talking about? This guy, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, John Doyle, I bet you he has never lasted more than 30 seconds in bed. Fabric of the nation. So if you want to come vote for Republicans, Excellent, Laura. that's great, but you can't have your issues I'm, I'm not kidding you. A person who literally believes that anal sex should be punished by the death by the death penalty has never lasted more than 30 seconds. That would be, that's generous. That's generous because all of your issues I think he has a wife doesn't he I think he I think he has a wife whether that be uh, two men getting married or it's just like it all represents something that is the total enshrinement of equality Blandrick what do you mean that's a bit of a reach that ain't a reach at all if you've ever met somebody like that that ain't a reach at all which is fundamentally a left-wing idea and it always has been doesn't he have a wife doesn't he have a wife though I thought he had a wife is he, does he really not have a wife? Holy shit. <laughs> True socialistocrat. Oh my God, really? Oh my God, maybe we should watch the anti-porn video after this. Holy shit. Oh my God. Blair, uh, give us your conclusion. <laughs> These fucking losers. Oh my God. We'll watch the anti-porn video. That sounds so funny. Dylan Burns is now 19. Oh, stop it. Stop the old ones. I guess my conclusion would be that this is all kind of silly. You have half the maybe, country. Maybe I mistake, mistook his, uh, his marriage situation for Hunter Avalon. I don't think they look alike or act alike, but I do think that Hunter has been pretty fucking cringe in the past. I don't know how he is now, but... Unconstitutionally locked down. People dying alone right now. Can't go to funerals. You know, I have, a, I, have a weird, I have a weird thought. This is probably moderately unethical to, to, to do. But at the same time, I have to wonder, why hasn't, why hasn't Blair gotten bottom surgery? Do you think it's because her boyfriend really likes getting fucking pounded? It's gotta be. Well, that's good. I'm good. To, I'm glad to hear that, Vermin. It's got to be, right? That's got to be the reason, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, for sure, right? It's It has to be that. People out of work. Yeah. Oh, she said that her boyfriend likes it. Yup. 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 Of course. Like the entirety of the country living with almost no dignity out of all of a sudden we have lockdowns and just- She's not afraid of surgery. She's had, she's already said she's had a boob job and lip and her lips done. And she's obviously had FFS. So much stuff to worry about. We're bombing Syria. A bit irrelevant. Yeah. What, what the fuck you mean it's irrelevant? We're talking about Blair White. Fuck off. You fucking, what the fuck? What do you mean? You just, wh what? You're gonna accuse the, oh my goodness, you people, holy you shit. No, um, I just can't, I can't wrap my head around this being <laughs> even remotely close to the most important conversation. Oh, don't be mad to the JQ, JQ signaling Nazi. Oh. Station happening on the right or anywhere. Um, and I think that it's also kind of just over. Um, I guess I'm just kind of saying what I've already said before, but um, Trumpism is the future and Trumpism isn't, unfortunately, what you've seen with, with Lauren and with John. I'm channeling me, bitch. 
on today. Um, and they're certainly. I see the chat has provoked my ire. You better watch yourselves or I'll blow up. I'll mauled. I'll fucking mauled. I'll mauled on you tonight. Free to advocate for um, an increase or a rise in social conservatism. But speaking for um, a really big chunk of my generation, which are going to be the people running things very soon, and they already are. Um, you know, what Carlin said earlier about we grew up in a time where we were very, very turned off in social conservatism. And a lot of the more radical ideas that you're seeing now. I'd have to start with you, um, Reza Sutra. To gender ideology, wokeness. It is the pendulum effect of social conservatism. It is. It, it, it was, you know, I grew up in a time where when I was five years old, I was naturally feminine getting beat up by little Christian kids in my school. And um, that Blair. was kind of the era that we were in and things changed Blair. and people got disgusted with that. Blair. And the pendulum is now to the point where now Blair. you have people being disgusted with the opposite end. So um, I guess Big Ten Party is the future. Not a huge time. You don't have to compromise on everything, but right. You do have to acknowledge the anomalies in people and that everyone's different. And if you're going to be searching for, you know, pure, perfect, ideologically consistent, 100 percent of the time people to only be part of your movement, you're not really going to find many of them, okay. especially because a lot of they these do. social conservatives Revere on life, Twitter that, that, you know, love to talk about LGBT people being excluded. Um, a lot of them are secretly gay behind the scenes. All right. So. Well, I got to cut I got to cut you off there. That's a loaded statement. I know, John. Social conservatives on Twitter that that you know love to talk about LGBT people being excluded. Um, a lot of them are secretly gay behind the scenes. Oh, she got one in. She got one in. You think it's you think it's John? You think it's John? I don't know. This Lauren's got a little bit of a guilty face, but I don't know. I don't buy her as as a as a girl lover. I just don't. I don't buy it. I don't think so. But she does have, re she's got the angry face right now, but it's possible. Oh my God. Wait a minute. What if, what if Lauren craves Blair's dick? What if that's what it is? All right, Blair, I gotta cut, I gotta cut you off. Maybe what if what if what if Lauren has like a drag a drag kink and really wants to get fucked by like a like a like a mask drag queen. Like a drag queen with a mustache and like Lauren's like I really wish this and I'm taking it out on I'm taking it out on Blair because she sees them all the same. Remember Blair makes fun of other trans girls for not having That's true. bottom surgery. You That's true. You like herself and uses that as a joke slash point against other trans. True. She does. Thank you very much, by the way. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Look at Carolyn right here. Carolyn's like, finally, Blair. Finally. There. That's a loaded statement. I know, John, people want to respond to that stuff. Maybe you are secretly gay behind the scenes. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're super straight. It doesn't really matter. Guys, I want to hear your thoughts below in the comments. We Wait, kind of who did he say? Who did he call out there? A loaded statement. I know, John, people want to respond to that stuff. Maybe you are secretly gay behind the scenes. Maybe. <gasps> Cucking him. He's getting, he's dunking on Doyle. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're super straight. It doesn't really matter. By the way, that is toxic masculinity right there. This is the dude. This is this guy. Take dunking on a on a younger kid and making him really fucking embarrassed. That is fucking toxic masculinity right there. Guys, I want to hear your thoughts below in the comments. We could kind of go on with this conversation forever. And I want to let you know something. Obviously, you know, Carlin and Lauren and Blair and John coming on. This is something that we don't get a lot of. Um, and before I wrap things up, I just want uh, to let you guys know that you can follow Carlin. You can follow Lauren. You can follow Blair and John. All their nah, nah, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this crappy shell shit. Fuck that shit. All right, we did it, everybody. We made it through. You wanted to go through the comments, actually? Let's go through the fucking co comments. Let's go through the comments. Oh, all of them about the audio things. Shitting on, shitting on, on Blair. Shitting on both of them. I like how John is trying so hard not to laugh. 
Oof. This one ain't happening. I like this format. Please have a show like this with a diverse group of young people at a discussion table. Oftentimes, the older generation wisdom take over their ego and they think decisions is for the best interest of the next generation. What? I, just, I don't think I agree with you on that, AT5D2D, Derek. Not right now. Got some Carolyn stands. Hey, we're getting some roasters. Whoo. Oh, there's here some Bl Bl Blair fans. Ooh. A lot of people roasting Carolyn. Oof. Oof. All right, let's talk about this. Let's 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 muse on this a little bit, huh? Let's let's be let's muse on this a little bit. So first off, Carolyn, Carlin Borshenk. No, I'm not going to give them that. I'm not going to give them fucking any more algorithm. What the fuck? No way. Are you kidding me? Not even not going to happen. Not going to happen. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the takeaways and the conclusions. Carlin Borshenko is, I do agree. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know if I agree with you, Space Pirate Captain. I think Borshenko is kind of dumb. Um, and I do think she's kind of a useful idiot. However, I think that she has enough self-respect. I think that she has enough self-respect that she won't take the shit that Blair White does. Like, I think she'll ditch. You know what I mean? Like, Carolyn Borshenko is clearly a human being. She'll take her checks and leave. Do you think that Carolyn Borshenko is going to uh, think twice about taking her PragerU checks and, bo and booking it? Damn, not bad. I'll take a look at that. Uh, if you could DM me that, Alora, that'd be great. Oh, I don't even know if that's true. Yeah, go follow the TikTok, by the way. Follow the TikTok. Those, can you DM me those stats? That's awesome. Our TikTok is blowing up. It's true. Here's the thing. Carolyn Borshenko recently got in a fight. Yeah, I have an awesome TikTok. My TikTok is fucking based. Yeah, um, it's fucking exploding right now. The conservatives are mad as fuck at me. Like literally, I've been my videos have been report bombed by conservatives because they make them so mad. Um, Bromo, I'd like to see your TikTok. You wanna you wanna link your TikTok, Bromo? You wanna link your TikTok? Oh, that's bullshit, Ziggy. TikTok is bad, but so is every platform. We have to we can't just seed a platform because we don't like the platform that much. We can't. You can't do it. That's how you lose. That's a recipe to lose. Now. What the fuck was I gonna say? TikTok war? A TikTok war would be fun. Um so Kate Carlin Borshenko was obviously the winner here, right? I want to do a quick TikTok directed at Carlin Borshenko, okay? And that's going to go right now. Carlin. Wait a second. I fucked it up. Give me a second. Here we go. Carlin Borshenko. My name is Demon Mama. You probably don't know who I am yet but you probably will after this we just watched your panel with Blair White and John Doyle and I gotta say you were really hitting it out of the park there 
Why do you associate with people like this? Why do you associate with the right? Do you not realize that the right is going the direction of Lauren? Don't you realize that the right is going to go that direction? They are leaning hard into that. They want that disgusting, discriminatory, prejudiced future. And I think I could tell, maybe I'm wrong, but looking at you and your history, even though I disagree with a lot of your takes, I don't think you're like a Nazi type. So why are you on the right? That's what I'm wondering. And I'm wondering if you might be endangering yourself by continuing to work with people like Lauren who just openly espouse Jewish question Nazi talking points. You do realize that's what they are, right? You heard the way that she was talking to Blair. What's going to stop them from talking to you like that? That, that is the direction that the right is going in America. And I hope that you know that you're helping them even if they mistreat you. And they will mistreat you. And they do mistreat you. I've seen how people talked about you. I saw Officer Tatum give a fake-ass apology to you. I've seen John Doyle talk down to you. Uh, Lauren talk down to you. These people don't respect you. Why do you help them? Why do you help their goal? I think that you have some potential, but you got to realize that these people are going to stab you in the back. That's all I got to say for you now, Carolyn. Maybe we'll talk sometime in the future. Demon Mama, out.